At LBJ Hospital, tents are set up outside to help with the overflow of COVID-19 patients waiting to receive treatment. Today, there were only two ICU beds available. We're in an internal disaster across the entire uh, medical system, and that is both public and private. Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee toured the hospital on Sunday just days after an 11 month old with COVID-19 was airlifted to a pediatric hospital in Temple, Texas due to Houston area hospitals at capacity. I want you to know that there are patients being dropped off at the community's hospitals that have to be rejected or have to sit in a lobby until a nurse can be assigned. Not a nurse that's sleeping, not a nurse that is inattentive, but they are not enough nurses. That's why the Congresswoman has sent a letter to Governor Greg Abbott to ask for federal help. She says, according to FEMA, the request must come from either the governor's office or the Texas Department of Health Services, not from individuals or Texas hospital systems. The only request that we have from the state of Texas are five mortuary trailers, and that is to take the dead bodies of those who have died and succumbed to COVID. We are back one year ago. Roxy Bustamante, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.